Hello everyone, you read the title of the video, so let's get going with the file system for the Switch X. Because they strongly influence how your X will perform on a hunt, so you should really choose carefully what X you are taking with you. There are six different files, Power, Elemental, Dragon, Para, Poison and Exhaust. These activate in sword mode and M state powers up your X and sword mode by adding these small discharges after every single hit, depending on the file type of the weapon. They also have different amp meters, meaning the quickest file to get to M state are the status files and the dragon file, while the slowest to fill is the power file. From slowest to fastest to fill it looks somewhat like this. Here is a quick comparison of the power file versus the poison file in the exact same combo. Now let me tell you what exactly each file does and give some interesting examples. The power file simply buffs the raw damage of your weapon and the discharges don't have any special effects except more raw damage. Back in Iceborne the meta was mostly dominated by power file. Elemental files boost the existing elemental damage of the weapon and the discharges are infused with the equipped element. In Sunbreak they are highly efficient and you should definitely focus on element as soon as you can. Especially in late game you should farm for a set for every single element for the highest possible damage output. Para, poison and exhaust files add the according effects to sword mode and M state. Exhaust files are only found on raw damage switch axes. They also add a stun effect to sword mode and M discharge charges, which means you can knock out monsters like Hammer and Hunting Horn. They also flinch monsters more often, they're super fun to use and you should definitely give them a try. The dragon file of course adds the dragon element to your sword mode and end state. It is found on a few raw switch axes. Should you use an elemental switch axe with an elemental file or a raw axe with a dragon file? Probably go with dragon element switch axe and elemental file, because dragon element axes also deal their elemental damage in axe mode and get even stronger in sword mode. Dragon file axes only deal dragon damage in sword mode and the end discharges. Elemental switch axes either have a power file or an elemental file. For an optimal elemental build, the elemental file is pretty much every single time the better choice. You also have a few different status switch axes. Some have the status naturally, which gets boosted by the file. Some have a power file, which doesn't really increase the status but the raw damage output. And others are raw damage switch axes with a para, poison or exhaust file, which only deal the according damage in sword mode and the end discharges. You get the drill. There are a lot of different combinations in the weapon tree, so let me run it down as short as possible. The power file is recommended only for raw damage builds and they take the longest to get to end state. Elemental files are recommended for elemental switch axe builds. They are a little easier to get to end state. The dragon file is only really useful when going for a dragon build and it is only found on raw switch axes. An elemental switch axe with element file is probably the better choice here. But it gets the fastest to end state by regular combos, yet I would probably prefer the elemental file. Status switch axes are at their strongest when paired with elemental boost files. At the moment there aren't any switch axes with for example the paralyze status effect and a paralyzation file. They either have an elemental file or a power file or they are a raw damage switch axe with a para file. Raw axes won't achieve the best results for their respective status but they deal more raw damage but you get less openings because you have a weaker status. An exception to this is exhaust files because it is only found on raw damage weapons. Experiment with a few and see which ones feel most comfortable for you and fit your role or playstyle. If you have any questions regarding the file system be sure to let me know in the comments, I'm always happy to help and be sure to check out my other guides on Switch X as well if you are looking for some beginner tips and maybe I've already done my advanced guide for all of you who have some more experience. Happy hunting guys!